The UPathDB workspace is a private workspace for viewing and interrogating your own data against data that is already available in UPathDB. This tutorial demonstrates the tool for exporting BigWig files from UPathDB Galaxy to any UPathDB site. So here we are in ToxoDB, but the tools and functions I will demonstrate are the same in any UPathDB site. The My Datasets page is for accessing your private datasets. Your datasets can contain one or more files, and all files in the dataset must be associated with the same reference genome. Right now I have no datasets associated with the genomes in ToxoDB, but I can click on this button and see datasets that I have associated with other UPathDB sites. I have two datasets associated with Plasmodium genomes and one uh, dataset in CryptoDB. So let's go to UPathDB Galaxy and transfer some files. I'll use the Analyze My Experiment link to go to UPathDB Galaxy. And as you can see, I am already logged in and I have an open history with two BigWig files that I want to transfer. So to open the tool, I go to UPathDB Export Tools and click on BigWig Files to UPathDB. That opens the tool in the center panel and I have some fields to fill in. I need to add a name to the data set. Um, and I need to choose the files that I want to transfer. And this is important. The files that I transfer need to be tagged with the same genome, and it needs to be the genome that they are aligned to. If you did not do this when you were setting up your Galaxy workflow, you can do it here with this drop down menu. I've already done it uh, in my workflow, so I'm just going to leave this as TGME49. You also have to have a summary um, and a data set description. If you don't fill these in, you will be prompted to do so. So uh, I have all the fields filled in. I'm going to cl click Execute. A gray tile, history tile, uh, will turn to yellow when the job is running and then will turn to green when uh, the job is finished, when the files have been transported. Now that we have a green history tile for the export, we can go back to ToxoDB, reload the My Datasets page, and our uh, dataset should be there. The My Datasets table now contains my dataset that I just transferred. The status is green, so we know the files arrived at ToxoDB, and there are two files in this dataset. The first column here serves as a link to the dataset record with specific information about this dataset. There is some general information at the top of the page, including a unique identifier for this dataset. The table below indicates which genome version your data is compatible with, and below that is a list of gbrowse files that we just transferred. The files are in the ToxoDB database, but not yet installed in gbrowse, so we need to click Send to gbrowse. And when the file is installed, the button changes to uh, View in gbrowse, so we can click this to go to gbrowse and view the file. And here we are at gbrowse uh, with the file showing. Now it may not look like much now. You may have to configure some things to get um, everything to show up properly. And I am going to adjust the uh, Y axis here to bring everything into view. Now I'm viewing this my bigwig file. It is the name of the file is the same as what was in Galaxy. It is amended with a unique ID that was assigned to the data set. Um, and I'm viewing this data along with two other tracks that are publicly available in ToxoDB, the annotated transcripts tract and some other RNA sequencing data uh, that's publicly available in gbrowse. I can also manage my uh, track within gbrowse. The tracks appear in the select track page, so I can turn them on and off. And in the custom tracks page, I can delete them from gbrowse. They'll still remain in my, my data sets in the ToxoDB uh, My Data Sets page, but they will not be installed in gbrowse. And that's the overview of a BigWick export tool. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, 
please click the Contact Us button and send us an email. Thank you.